Hey guys, Happy New Year. Um, long time no see. I was in Montreal for New Year's and that was actually my first time in Montreal. I had a really nice time. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do December favorites, miss that. Um, now it's the middle of the month and I was going to do like a year favorites, but then I was kind of all over the place with that too. So I'm going to do a kind of mixed bag favorite. Some of these are favorites that I've had sort of all year, and then some of them are new products that I've tried that I've really been liking. Uh, so I'll just, you'll understand as I go through it, but I kind of have a bunch of products that I am excited to talk about, so I wanted to um, talk to you about them. Uh, I also filmed a hair video before Christmas and before the holidays. As you can see, my roots are growing in quite a bit, but I got a few requests to do like a blonde, hair care video. I do not dye my hair myself and I'm not planning on starting, but just how do you maintain like, you know, how to keep your hair soft and healthy when it is bleached. So, um, I'll have that soon. And there are two new products that I really have been liking that I'm going to talk about that are not in that video. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's after work and I'm sitting on my floor. I'm trying to get like the angle of this right, like that better. I'm seeing a ton. Um, it's been really, really cold in New York. It was really cold in Canada as well. Uh, and when in, in the really cold months, my fingers crack like I'll get little um I don't know if you can see that but like I'll get like right at like the tip of your fingertip like right here little like cracks that are really painful and they are like the worst they hurt so bad um and like if you're typing or doing anything it just really hurts um and my mom turned me on to this stuff I've had this like this actual pot of this for like three years it lasts a really long time um I got this I think at Bed Bath & Beyond and it's just called the O'Keefe's Working Hands and it's just for dry hands that crack and split and I keep this by my bedside table sometimes I'll throw it in my purse if my hand if my fingers are really bad but it's just like a solid cream and you can just like dig like your finger I just like kind of rub my finger into it and just put some on my fingertip I don't like put it all it's pretty greasy so I don't put it like all over my hands I just put it on those problem areas or I'll like sleep with it on like I'll put my like dry cracked fingers like the sections um I'll dip it in and then like if it's really bad I'll put a band-aid over it at night I've been loving this so I just wanted to talk about this I've mentioned this once before but love that Along the same lines is the Neosporin Lip Health. It's the overnight renewal therapy. And this is just white petroleum and it's just in a pot like this. I keep this at my bedside table before I go to bed. I put this on my lips. It's just a lip treatment. And um, I would say you can use this whenever because I have done that before, but um, I usually just use this before I'm going to bed. So I really like that. Uh, my lips haven't been like cracked or uh, chapped or anything. And then in my last haul video, I showed you the Nest Perfume Rollerball Trio that I got from Sephora. And I've only really been using one of them. I'm going to use the other one soon, but I've been like addicted to this one. And you could see how much I've already used. It's um, called Dahlia and Vines. And it's a really nice light scent. Um, so I've been wearing this a ton. And it's really just like a great size to throw in your purse or to travel with. So I've been kind of like on Long Island and Canada, then I'm back here. And so like, it's a great thing to just throw in your bag and have with you rather than a large bottle of perfume. So I've been really liking this scent. Another thing that I've been wearing a lot of, and I haven't really been doing my nails a lot lately, they look really gross right now. But um, in December, I wore red a lot, like duh, it's Christmas, but um, Russian Roulette was a color that I reached for a ton. So I wanted to just mention that it's by Essie and it's one of their classic kind of colors, but you know, I, I always forget about red nail polish and then you put it on and you kind of, you know, like I, I just really like wearing red nail polish when I do have it on. So, um, love that new products that I just got and so far I really like. Um, the first one is the Tarte Gifted Mascara and this is uh, their Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I don't know what Smart Mascara is but this is like free of parabens, all of that stuff that Tarte does not have. Um, and the reason I picked this one up in particular is because lately, and I've mentioned this before, my eyes get super, super dry and sensitive and I've come to realize that I think it's because of mascara. Uh, there'll be some days where I'll put on a certain mascara and then my eyes will just really like kind of 
not burn, like they'll burn, but not because something's in it, but because they're so dry. And I realized that it's the mascaras that I'm using. So I've been looking up mascaras for sensitive eyes. Um, I was using the Clinique one for a really long time and I'm almost out of that one. So I wanted to give this one a try because I was getting a little bit like tired of the Clinique one. So I've worn this the past few days and I really like it. Um, so I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted how this goes, but first impressions, I really like that. Um, another product that I love, and I finally bought a bottle of this for myself, um, my hairdressers use this on me a ton of times, and it's the Moroccan Oil Glimmer Shine, which I hadn't heard of before, uh, but it's just like a finishing spray, and I put this on, I didn't wash my hair today, I washed it yesterday, but I sprayed it on my hair yesterday, and it just leaves the most beautiful shine to your hair, um, it just looks like almost like glass, I don't know, but it, um, you just hold the bottle 10 inches from your head and spray it on your dry hair and then you leave it for three to four minutes, like don't touch it until it like kind of sets and like what happens is the liquid beads or whatever, they just kind of like adhere to the hair and I don't know what they do, but they work their magic. Um, and like, I just really love this. So it comes in a bottle like this. It also, um, makes me feel like I'm leaving the salon when I use it. So I really like this. I keep this in my bathroom so I can just spray it um, when I'm about to leave the house. So Moroccan Oil Glimmer Shine, really, really love it. Another hair product that I really like that I got in my December box, that I got in my December glam box, which um, I got over Christmas time and I never did a video on it or anything, but I got this Tony and Guy prep leave-in conditioner and it is, it smells like a salon. Like it, that like when you're in the salon, it just has that like hair product, hairspray sort of smell, hair, you know, just hair stuff. That's what this smells like. And I really, really, really like it. So, um, I used this the other day. Uh, it's just awesome. Like I, I just used it after I got out of the shower, combed it through my hair and, you know, blue dry my hair as is. I have like leave-in kind of products right now, but, um, I think I'm going to stick to this one for a little while. And it's good to kind of switch these products up a bit because your hair sort of gets used to one. And then, um, so when that happens to me, I'll switch one. Uh, that's why I like to have a few on hand. So Tony and Guy prep leave-in conditioner, really, really liking that. The next products are sort of, um, like my, my 2014, like, loves, I think. But this, the first one I think I actually did, um, discover in 2013, and this is, like, my, my baby. Um, I feel like I've sold tons of these things because whenever I use it, I get compliments and I have people ask me how I curled my hair. Um, before I keep talking, I'll just tell you what it is. And I did talk about this a long time ago. I don't know if that video is still online, but it's the Nano Titanium by Babyliss, uh, and it's called the Mira Curl. And I think Conair makes one now too. I'm sure a lot of other brands make them, but Babyliss was the first one to make this. And it is the best product I have ever used to curl my hair. Um, I cannot use curling wands. I like, you know, like when you're looking in the mirror, I can never tell what I'm doing or which way I'm turning. And like, I end up like stabbing myself with the, with the curling iron. Um, the ones with the clips I can never do either. And the curls never look nice, um, when I do them. So this is just kind of like a foolproof way to curl your hair. Um, and when I use this, it, I usually can get the curls to last. I don't use hairspray or anything, but my curls will last for about three days. And on the last day, it'll be a bit more wavy, which I really like. Um, so like you'll have kind of tighter curls and then it'll just kind of loosen up and I just throw it up in a ponytail at night and like they just stay. So yeah, like it literally, you just put your hair in, clamp it down, and then it sucks it up, and you can start the curl wherever you want. Like, so if you wanted to only start them down here, you start them up here, you can alternate which way this thing goes, so you can have them curl away, or you can have them alternate. Um, it's really like the invention that has saved my life. So I love, love, love this product. Like I said, I've been stopped by random people that I don't even know. Um, I tell everybody about it and I'm like, it's the coolest thing. People are like, where did you get your hair done? And I'm like, I have this crazy invention. And then I go on like this infomercial, infomercial rant about trying to explain it. And um, it's just really the best. So love this. 
The next product that I have been loving, like literally all year long, are a uh, pair of shoes. And they are the Toms. Let me tell you what they're called. They're the Desert Wedges. And I have three pairs of them now. My first pair I got actually in the spring. So I guess not all year. But um, these, these are what they look like. And they are the best shoes ever. Um, I live in New York and I'm walking around a lot. I am not a heels girl because I just can't wear shoes that are not comfortable. I just can't get through the day or like have any patience for those. So, but like, you know, I love a booty. I love um, kind of shoes that you could wear with pants or also with dresses uh, that are comfortable that you can kind of walk all day in. Um, these shoes have come with me to Japan. Um, I, you know, wear them like they're, if somebody who's like wear a comfortable shoe, I would not hesitate to wear these because they are so comfortable. Um, they're the best. Um, so the first pair that I got were these ones and um, they're a little bit beat up because I've had them and I wore them all throughout the summer. Like I wore them with dresses and with shorts and with kind of anything and everything. Um, these ones, this is the older one and it has the Tom's label, which I don't love, like, because it kind of dresses down the shoe a bit. Um, but then in the beginning of the fall, I got these black ones because it was, you know, going into tight season and I wear black tights like all the time. And they've changed this. So now it's just a black label. So you can barely even see it. So um, these I've been wearing pretty much all winter. Uh, and then for Christmas, my mom got me these ones, which are the cream and like fake snake skin ones. And so these ones just have, it's not even a label. It's just like kind of an embroidered Tom's label. And it just has this snake skin and it's just this pretty cream color. I'm like so scared I'm going to get these dirty. My stepdad sprayed them for me. But um, these shoes are like the best, the best. So really like those about music and uh tv shows sometimes other things books um <clears throat> the first thing i've been really into watching tv lately which like i go through phases of like reading or you know in the summer when i'm out a lot i don't really do any of that um but it's been so cold that i've been watching tv and this first show i like so I've become completely obsessed with the show The Americans, which is on FX. It's about Soviet spies in America in the 80s. So it's just, I don't know. I started watching it actually in Montreal because it was New Year's Day and my friend and I were staying at an Airbnb. Nothing at all was open in, in Montreal. We, you know, were from New York and so we kind of didn't even think about places being closed. So we... <clears throat> We were trying to find on my friend's laptop something to watch and Netflix wouldn't work because we were in Canada. Uh, Amazon Prime wouldn't work because we were in Canada and the only thing that would work was iTunes. So we were browsing through like the free first episodes on iTunes and we found The Americans. So I was like, okay, let's let's give it a try. And after that I was hooked. Um, so you can get the first, ep the pilot episode uh, for free on iTunes, um, but it's also on Amazon Prime. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can stream seasons one and two for free, and season three comes back in a few weeks. I like blew through the first season. The second season I was kind of flying through too, um, and then I've kind of stopped myself because I wanted to save them to lead up to the premiere of the third season. So in that time, I've been watching Orphan Black. I was home last weekend with my, my family, and um, I started watching that with my mom and sister. And I like it, it's entertaining. It is a bit cheesy, but it's enjoyable. So I've been watching that. And then I've also been watching Transparent, which I think is brilliant, and Jeffrey Tambor is everything. So um, I've kind of been obsessed with TV lately. And for music, uh, Besides the stuff I talked about last month, um, there's really nothing new. I don't feel like I've been, I've been listening to some older stuff and, you know, I just grabbed this because I've been listening to Andrew Bird a lot. He's one of my favorites and, um, um no album in particular, but, uh, if you've never heard of Andrew Bird, he is just like a, he does a lot of looping in his music and he's an amazing, an amazing musician. He is like a, I think he is a professional whistler if that's such a thing but you'll understand if you listen to um some of his songs but um 
but I have a bunch of his records on vinyl. So this is um, Break It Yourself and Hands of Glory, which these came out around the same time. Hands of Glory has a bunch of covers on them. Uh, they're really pretty. Um, so yeah, so Andrew Bird, I've been loving. I've been listening to a lot of stuff that I've been that I would listen to in high school. I feel like um, I've been kind of listening to old stuff more than new stuff lately, but I'll probably be back next month with some new recommendations. Um, and so that's really everything. Uh, next month I'm going to, and I want to ask you guys, I'm going to London for a friend of mine's uh, birthday and it's her 30th birthday party and she'll be at work for part of the time that I'm there. I mean, she'll be at school for part of the time that I'm there. And so I booked um, a ticket for myself to go to the Warner Brothers Harry Potter studio tour because I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I've heard really good things. So if you have any tips about that um, or about going there alone. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this wasn't too long and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.